Lamar head softball coach Holly Bruder assembled a team that can not only win now, but set the table for the future. Not one senior on the 18-player roster, and not one player that had Division I experience prior to this year. Up next for this young squad, the Southland Conference postseason tournament, with six teams gunning for the league's automatic berth to the NCAAs. Wouldn't that be something? Six Sports' Andrew Chernoff has more with the Lady Cards. The Cardiac Cards came to play this weekend, winning in dramatic fashion Sunday to clinch a spot in the Southland Conference Tournament. It was such a rush, and just seeing Coach Bruder fly by me and like bear hug me, it was the best feeling in the world, and it'll be even better once we do it with a conference tournament win. I'm still ecstatic about it. It hasn't even really sank in that I'm going to tournament. Not bad for a program that came back this season after not playing a game in 25 years. Now, I know all the Southland Conference teams didn't expect you guys to be in this tournament at all. How come you guys didn't get that memo? Uh, oh no, we got it pretty clear all year, but uh, well, we brushed it off. We don't really care what they think. We're going to show them what's up at the tournament. This is a fun part of the season, man. It kind of validates what you've been doing. Uh, we have four teams sitting home and uh, six going to tourney, and, and we're one of those. The tourney will be a bit different than the regular season. Sure, the Southland Conference Tournament is double elimination, but there are no best of three series anymore. This tournament features a one-game series, winner moves on format. These girls have never experienced that. You, you lose, you go home. Uh, you win, your season continues, your career continues. And it's one of those, is it going to be different? Yes. And it starts out tough for the Lady Cards because they take on a Central Arkansas team that swept them less than two weeks ago. It's really hard to beat a team four times. I know UCA swept us, but that doesn't mean anything. So we haven't beaten those guys yet, so sometimes we're going to try to use that to an advantage. Once we get on that field on Thursday, there's nothing else going to be in our minds besides winning. Getting past the Bears would be the first step in what the team hopes it will ultimately accomplish winning the SLC title. I can't even describe those words right now, to be honest. Um, just, oh my God, that would just be absolutely drop dead amazing. It most certainly would. At Ford Park, Andrew Chernoff, KFDM 6 Sports.